Hi everyone! Do I have you? <laughs> That's <laughs> Shadow saying hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome. I'm just going to go to the top of chat. I'm not going to be able to see everyone. Hi Linda, Janine, Helen, Robin, Trish, Mona, Kat. <sighs> what else do we have in there? Bev, Kim. Dorothy, Diane, Kenny, Angela, I'm slowly getting there, Emily, all the way to the bottom of the jar. Uh, who else have we got? <laughs> There's too <Tom> many! <laughs> Is it Groon? Victoria, hello. Welcome. Did I say Abby? Oh gosh, now I'm forgetting who I've said. Hi Sue. <laughs> Welcome guys. Um, yeah, welcome. <laughs> I had a bit of uh, stuff happen this morning. But um, hi Carolee, welcome. Hi Patricia, welcome. But um, I'm here you guys and um yeah i'm gonna color with polychromos today there is a color list in the description below just getting out my colors <laughs> hi lulu welcome And anyone else that I missed? Hello. Alicia. <laughs> Cat. Ah, uh, Shadow's funny. You're a good girl, aren't you? Look. You right there? Shadow? Hello. Hello. Ow. Oh. <laughs> with like pencils. I'll put it in an extender actually. It will be easier to hold when it comes around to it. Alrighty. So uh, this is um, Victorian Valentine by Laura Rafferty. Laura Colors 2 is the Etsy shop. It's all in the description below. I haven't updated the uh, Nightbot link yet, um, but there is a discount uh, in the description as well. So make sure you check that out, guys. And um, hi, Melanie. Welcome. Hi, Leslie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> So um, we did uh, Prismacolors last month and this month I'm going to be using Polychromos, which is kind of cool because I really like the red colours in Polychromos and we're going to do that rose red. So Alright. So these colour alongs are for you guys here to learn something new. Um, I hope that uh, if you have any questions, you know, you'll let me know. I want to be able to help you out and uh, make sure that you get something out of the videos. Uh, we've been doing these colour along events for about a year now, maybe longer. And um, I love to be able to give you guys 
you know, artists and discounts for the artists and um, your chances to uh, get images and and uh, books and things through giveaways and that. So I hope that you do enjoy them because they are for you guys. Oh, Kat, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Another cat. Welcome. <laughs> Everyone give a hug to cat. <laughs> Thanks, Ellen. Oh, it means so much to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> it does. It really does. Okay, I need to breathe. <sighs> and um, I need to get started. I do, I really do. <laughs> if I don't, that won't happen. <laughs> All right, I'll just quickly run through the colors. Now, I got a little note here. Um, about the skin colours because in the old set they were called flesh, dark flesh, light flesh and medium flesh and their names have changed. <laughs> Thanks cat. <laughs> you keep refreshing these things that just disappear. <laughs> Uh, so I will be calling these pencils by their medium flesh and light flesh, but the new names for them are 131 is now coral. So instead of medium flesh, it's called coral now. So if you have a newer set, that's the color that I'm going to be using. And uh, for the light flesh, which is 132, it's now called red beige. So uh, if you are using the newer set and you have the newer colors, uh, that's the two colors that are changed. Hello. <laughs> You're early. I know. Apologies. No, thank you. I'm running around doing stuff too. I needed it. Yeah, there's your cuppa. Thanks. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Welcome. I love you, babe. Okay. I think I'm like 50 seconds or something behind. It's really not not uh, not in sync today. I think <laughs> cat, I think I have a new black pencil. I'll have to check in my my supplies. Everyone says hi Cam. I do look black ah. I must have had this one for a while look at that sticker it's gone all yellow I hate it when they put the sticker down the bottom Ugh. I'll get some acetone and clean off the sticky later I still have enough for today <laughs> I got caught yesterday with the name change. I thought you'd they'd come out with new colours and brought the medium red. <laughs> the red beige, you mean? Hi, Ray. Welcome. Welcome to anyone else that popped in there and uh, was saying hello. <laughs> Hey, um, I did. I finished my bedroom. Well, you can't see the lights, but how cute is this? I'm going to be putting a little mirror, handheld mirror here, but I haven't made it yet, so it's still to come. That little toilet paper here on the wall. 
At the back here we've got our frosted glass. I've got some a vase and a bottle of something. Little mat down there. This little curtain that pulls across. Cover the shower there. Look at that. <laughs> Inside there, there will be a light in here, but in there there's little bottles and uh, there. Little curtain material for the curtains. Little mat. But uh, this is pretty much finished. I've just got to put the uh, little mirror in there and then I'll put the roof on with the lights and uh, that room and then obviously I'm going to do the outside as well. So that will be my third room finished once I do all that. <laughs> um, starting to look pretty cool. I love putting the little bits and pieces together. Thanks guys, very cute. All right, let's 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 start. So one thing uh, that um, my patrons actually ask is about skin, skin, hair, uh, the most fur, uh, the most asked for things to be colored. So um, hopefully the color alongs allow you a little bit of information to be able to pick up some tips while we're going along love the bedspread it's cool isn't it <laughs> it's sparkly robin my tea is sitting on the heater love it have we got two kelly's kelly b's in the house kelly s is already in the house <laughs> Oh, no worries, Lulu. Um, Leslie, we're finding it quite difficult, actually. <laughs> How are you guys going? Um, it's, it's quite messy, isn't it? Um, there's a lot of, um, struggle with the whole, because, like, um, you know, we're, there's only allowed like five people on a building site, so hubby's kind of in that industry sometimes, and um, it's it's very difficult. We're we're trying to figure out where we fit into it all. Also, my daughter, she has a partner um, who lives not with us, of course. So you know, like there's all these uh, uh, conflicting rules for the restrictions like there's only supposed to be one person in the car um how how do we take her to her boyfriend's like he yeah he, he, her boyfriend is her second family so uh, but she doesn't have a license so how does she get there uh so yeah it's um it's been a little bit stressful but we'll figure it out it's only six weeks Um, I noticed though that even though the, the curfew and all that started, we've still had just as many, um, just as many cases apparent. So, uh, it will it help? I do not know. I do not know. <laughs> it is. So we're right. We're in... Melbourne metro area so all of our area is now locked down for stage four so there's a curfew um, only one person is allowed out of, supposed to be out of the house um, at a time to do shopping uh, so and it's supposed to only be for an hour so we're only given that time uh, an hour to do shopping and uh, the only other reason we should be leaving the house is for doctors exercise um, and that's pretty much it. We're not allowed to go more than five kilometers from our homes. Um, obviously, unless it's for a doctor's appointment that's further away, of course, or work. Um, but all people who are out on the road, if they're for work, they have to have work permits and um, things like that. So it's a lot of paperwork. And uh, being our own business, uh, we have to abide by all the rules and, and all the new you know, laws and all that sort of thing. Otherwise, we can get fined um, for not doing that. So, it is hard.
so yeah the rest of um stay at home that's right the rest of uh, Victoria's in stage three lockdown now so they're going from what we were in to uh, what <laughs> from nothing to what that what we were in so that must be also pretty kind of stressful for you guys as well so ah oh, thanks Leslie but yeah basically uh, I can't leave home but I do have um finally have a ear oh ears shadow specialist appointment coming up so she just dropped everything so that's good and um yeah it's all good all right so let's do something different this time now i'm going to use a prismacolor white but you could use any soft white pencil would work So I've got a few here. I have no idea where my luminance white is gone. <laughs> somewhere. It's somewhere. There we go. They're little, that's white. <laughs> um, so I've got Prismacolor here. I've got Chinese white in the Derwent drawing pencil. I've got the Holborn soft white. I've also got the luminance pencil. So any of these would do. The... Um, the polychromos white is too hard for this so it won't work as well with that it in fact it probably won't work you'll probably just get frustrated so um don't try to use something like that something firm try to use something nice and soft and uh, waxy something that will allow you to smudge and blend out the pencils i am using today the strathmore let me get it oh. <laughs> This one, Strathmore Mixed Media Paper Vellum Surface. Uh, this is 190 GSM. This is a 9 by 12 page, um, but I have printed the image as if it was on a A5, A4 page. Sorry, um, So it's not quite as big as that page, the image, but if it's within it. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question, Trish. We're a little bit behind today. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's what i'll be using i do like this paper um it is it is it has got a bit of a rough surface uh so you do need to look i've spoke tea on that <laughs> you do need to uh make sure that you have multiple layers so that you can push down the tooth of the paper and you know things like that anyway I thought we'd try something a little bit different I thought what we might do is we might do I know that a lot of people have a lot of trouble with blending so one of the things I normally start from dark to light on my pictures and um, I still have had people say look it's still too hard I'm not getting that nice smooth blend between um, the colors and you know what it could be paper uh, it could be pencils. It's lots of different reasons why it's coming out different. And that's fine. And it will take time for you guys to learn your different mediums and figure out how to use them in a way that gives you the results that you're happy with. <laughs> no worries, Trish. <laughs> yeah, I usually cut it down as well, uh, Kat, because it just prints a little bit better and I don't have to... My printer doesn't... My printer settings on my computer don't allow me to sort of stretch it out to the full size so uh, it does make it hard oh Kelly that's lucky you're not quite in the zone <laughs> Alright, so to help with the blending and things like that, I'm going to do a really, really light layer of white pencil all over the skin. So normally I would do this white pencil part after I've put the pencil down, but it'll actually, if you're having trouble with blending over, especially rougher paper, uh, this will help you to do that as well. So what I'm going to do is just go over really lightly. You're going to have to sort of 
uh, <laughs> keep track of where you've actually colored because it's white but I'm just going to put a layer of pencil over the whole skin now uh, a little while ago I had a request to do shading and different skin shading um, and Laura did a practice page uh, for me to use it on patreon so that is on patreon um, and uh, we just did different examples of skin uh, shading so different light sources and things like that so if you want to check that out that's on patreon too <laughs> and cat I saw your your uh, thing before about sometimes it looks questionable but then it comes out the magic just happens that's kind of what's going to happen today so we'll have something that you'll be not quite sure about until we start to add those layers on I'm just trying to keep my pencil in a bit of an angle so that I'm getting a nice even layer of pencil over the skin I've also printed the dark version of it. It came with a dark and a lighter version. Oh, that would be the post. Bear with me. Back again, sorry about that guys. Nice bang on the door there. I can't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> yes, Angela, you could do this on tan tone paper as well. It would come out a little bit lighter, I think. Um, doing it on tan tone but you just add more depth when you come to doing the darker colors and uh, get plenty of contrast I think I've covered over all of it. I can kind of see on a bit of an angle. All right. <laughs> Cat, just 
reach through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> hi rosemary welcome <laughs> all right so for my darkest shadow sections i'm going to do burnt sienna and i'm just going to come in just around the areas that were already kind of gray uh, so there's a couple of areas on here and i'm just going to do a light layer so i've got my pencil laying on the side a bit here and just doing a nice and light layer I hope that uh, you can see that clearly there. I'm going to extend the eye shadow right across to the temple there, just lightly. So hopefully adding in that layer of wax underneath, so doing the white underneath, will just help you get a smoother blend when it comes to blending it all through at the end. And I don't want to do it too dark around the face here. Just Hi Dawn, welcome. Hi Loretta, welcome. Just very lightly coming around this bottom area here. Make sure I'm coming around all of the objects that are sitting and leaning over the skin. So the hair, her ear, all of those areas. Under her chin here. I'm going to do the hand later. I just uh, wanted to do the face skin for now. We won't get time to do all of it, so. Bye, Leslie. Oh, thanks, Helen. I forgot to put it in Nightbot. I was completely um, just taken aback this morning, so I haven't uh, done a lot of stuff that I would have done. So sorry. It's all in the description as well. And thanks mods for uh, popping that up too. Alright. I'm pretty happy with that. Just lightly. Marking those areas out. Just bringing out her cheek area here, this dark patch a little bit further 
add plenty of color into the ear here as well. He's on strike, yeah. <laughs> Lucky I've got you guys. <laughs> uh, it's not easy, Mona. Just takes time. <laughs> I've got Kaput Mortem Violet. <laughs> and I'm going to come over the top of that. And also, I'm going to just start to create some shapes on the face. So I'm going to add a bit of a triangle here just really lightly so coming over the sienna burnt sienna and uh, just extending it out and creating some shadows Just keep that pencil on the side when you're first starting. If you need it darker in a spot, then just go over it again. Don't try to push too hard. Otherwise, it'll, it'll be harder to blend and smudge out the color later on. Now, I want to leave a little bit of a high spot. So, I'm not going to color in this section here I'm going to leave this sort of round to the top of the cheek area uh, nice and light so I'm not going to color up there but I'm going to continue to fill in this side of the face Just sort of curling around, creating a little bit of depth on the edges of the face. Um, Rain would like to, oh, Robin would like to know. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. Sorry, Robin. <laughs> Hi, Angela. Welcome. All right, so <laughs> did I miss that? How far up did you write that? <laughs> I have a tendency to be heavy handed. I'm working on changing that. Okay, we'll try turning your pencil on the side. Um, is there a difference between white charcoal and white? Yes, you can't use the white charcoal for this instance. It won't work as well. The reason it won't work as well is because I'm using the wax of the Prismacolor pencil to help blend and smudge the color out later on. So it will help to uh, give us a smoother blend. If we were using charcoal, it's not going to do that. It's not the same. It's not giving us that layer of, of wax underneath to give us that uh, room or ability to smudge or blend the color as we move forward so the white charcoal is it will go down on the pencil but as soon as you cover over it um, you're not getting that sort of waxy creamy uh, I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say the creaminess of it to get it to smudge and blend together well if you don't particularly care if you've got some rough patches you know, and you can see paper underneath and it's fine. You don't need to do that layer. You could just leave it. Um, I just thought I'd show you another way to help get smoother skin uh, by using that. Giving you a couple of techniques to use. 
Um, I know that having a large area of skin can be really daunting for people too. So you've got this large white space um, to deal with. And uh, when you're using pencils, if you're not as light handed, <laughs> um, even with a light hand, you can get it. The, the streakiness of the pencil. And uh, this is just showing you another way to help get rid of that. Yes, that's right. Yes. No, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying that, not you. Wow. <laughs> wow. If you get wax build up or a build up, don't be afraid to gently use an eraser to just erase that little spot um, either because sometimes the pencil has imperfections in it and you get little clumps of colour or clumps of wax or, or whatever you're using <laughs> and, uh, and that then can go on your page so just use an eraser gently just to erase that off I know she argues with me all the time so frustrating <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to wear clown makeup. I actually worked in a pharmacy, so um, we had to wear professional makeup. I don't even know what brand it was now. But um, we were taught how to put it on professionally. Sounds very uh, prestigious, doesn't it? <laughs> And I was a clown, so you know, clown makeup and all. I did Alicia's makeup for her dev too, didn't I, Alicia? Alright. Now, we are going to move to cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon bun, I feel like a cinnamon bun. <laughs> Very shiny with wax, so lots of build up, lots of pressure then. So with the cinnamon, I'm going to extend out past and over the top of the Kaput Mortuum Violet. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to finish the shapes that I'm wanting. So I'm going to bring this all the way out now, close to the edge of the forehead. There. I'm going to just shape the eye there giving her a little bit of a light patch across the top of her forehead here and down her nose giving her still a light patch on the kind of larger coming forward part and 
leaving a light patch on the eye. Hi, Rochelle, welcome. Hi Kelly, thanks so much for coming for this little section. <laughs> Hi Shao, welcome. I'm coming over everywhere where I want the skin color to be and I'm leaving out all of my highlight areas so to help blend the darker color into the light we're going to go over the darker color with the same color so it kind of blends into it and we're just going to keep the areas we want light. That cup of tea is going through me already. <laughs> okay. So we've left this nice highlight area here on the top of the cheek. And I've come out over the rest of the face there. I'm just going to change the angle of my paper so I get a nice smooth blend. a small highlight on this section but most of that area there will be covered leave the shoulder to the back of the neck there fill out that little section there Next I've got some medium flesh or again this one's changed to coral 131. So I'm going to come over the top and add this in. It's going to start to look a little bit pink. But we're going to add in some yellow later. And we'll be adding in some orange with the peach, the light peach. So the light flesh, I should say. Just very lightly doing a layer of this. And I'm just barely coming over the edge of that other colour. I'm not even going to go over the edge of that. I'm just going to go right to the edge there. 
just very gently adding color to the lightest part of the skin because even though it's light I want to add a few layers of, of color so that it blends smoothly So, we're going to keep going. Keep it going. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. All right. So, uh, next is Light Flesh or Red Beige 132. Coming over the top. And uh, we're going to start to see some of the tooth lightening out now. So, there's not going to be a lot of... Uh, white paper left as we go over. I'm using this colour as a bit of a transition into that really light area too. So just smoothing off the edge of the previous colours. Still leaving our highlight areas. She's starting to look cool, huh? We're getting our colour arising. I'm coming in on multiple angles too, making sure that I cover over like cross hatching. Especially if you've done it on larger paper and you've got a larger area to sort of fill the gap between.
So multiple angles, guys. So turn your page, do it on one angle, turn your page, do it on another, another. Now she's still looking quite light at this stage, so we're going to do another layer. But before we do, we're going to add in some yellow into that. So I've got a bit of cream. There's two kind of yellowish pencils in the polychromo set. We're going to use both of them. So I'm going to use cream and ivory. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Maribel. Welcome. Bye, Groon. Thanks for joining. Enjoy your dinner. Hello to anyone that I miss coming in. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit uh, on a mission today. <laughs> in, uh, yeah, in let's just do your job mode. <laughs> let's get it done. All right, got cream and I'm going to come over the top of that. I'm still leaving a really nice white highlight there, but I'm going to come over everything. And add a little bit of a yellow tone over the skin so it doesn't look quite so pink. The pencil's on an angle, it's like flat. Oh. oh. Okay. My nose is bleeding. <laughs> How does that even happen? <laughs> Alright guys, be right back. <laughs>
Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> I don't know. That was so weird. Um, so we're going to have to do like a dark background or I'll just redo it later. <laughs> Very weird. Let's go back. Let's keep going. Yeah, I just sort of breathed and it aspirated onto my page. I'm sorry, I literally put my uh, blood into this one. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, good. <laughs> just random. Oh, now I need to cover it over. It's annoying me. I can see it. It's just... <laughs> I'm going to have to do a new page, I think. This is going to annoy me too much. <laughs> I mean, how do you get blood off the page? Lucky I haven't done much, eh? <laughs> it's cold here, Patty. Really cold. Um, so, yeah, strange. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just feeling a little stressed this morning, you know. High blood pressure, maybe. I don't know. Oh, good. Oh, good. Show. Yeah, it is cold here today. Um, so yeah, maybe that's it. Now every time my nose feels a little bit weird, <laughs> I think I'm going to breathe on you. Lulu, you didn't miss much. I just bled all over my page. It's all good. <laughs> so sorry, Laura. Messing up the page. All right, that was cream. given it I've got some um not peroxide but <laughs> it's all good I'll just redo the this part that's fine it's not that bad yeah oh okay Mona that's a good point all right so I've got ivory next And we're just going to go and just really flatten out the tooth. Still using fairly light pressure here, but I'm just coming over everything. This paper is actually quite forgiving and uh, you can come in over the top of multiple layers and continue to add colour. So that's what I'm going to do because I need more depth. Uh, the colour in the face is quite washed out at the moment. So we're going to come back in. And we are going to redo those darker colours. It 
but as you can see we're starting to really get nice shape and color yeah I was <laughs> I was maybe still a little bit but um, I'm trying to <laughs> keep keep track of it I used to get blood noses a lot when I was a kid but normally I get them in summer not winter You can already see my pencil lines are starting to smooth off too, so in these darker areas we're starting to get some nice smooth colour. Are you, are you okay, Lulu? Have you found... Are you back? I know. They're not usually violent, are they? <laughs> you know what? One day I might surprise you. <laughs> um, Alright. This time I'm going to add the Kaput Mortum Violet. Mortum Violet. Okay, hang on. All right, that's not nice. Okay, <laughs> that's not nice. Um, I'm just going to redo. So because we've done so many layers now, we've got some nice smooth surfaces to work off here. I'm just going to darken up some of these shadows now. something <laughs> if I keep the background white it'd be fine but I'm gonna have to color over that so that's not gonna work either <laughs> it doesn't matter I'll redo it it's fine all good As long as you guys are getting something from this, it's fine. <laughs> it's worth it.
How's that looking? <laughs> oh, I got you back, Lulu. Hello. Have you watched the... There's an episode of Black Mirror where um, the girl... It's quite a messed up version of... Uh, oh, a, a messed up episode, but... She's got that violence filter. Maybe that's what happened to you, Lily. You computer it. No, no, no. There's blood. We have to turn the screen black now. <laughs> we'll blur it out. <laughs> I'm just extending it a little bit further out because I wasn't happy with the line that was being created there. So I just want to... Get a nicer, smoother blend. There. So I've got uh, the cinnamon. See if we can get that smoother. That's better. It's coming along a little bit better now. Awesome. That's awesome news. I'm so glad. Oh, I'm much happier with that blend too, adding that little bit extra in there. Just gave, I just like that a little bit better. Scratch, 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 scratch. Oh. No, nope, all good. How embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I need to add a little bit more of the Kaput Mortem Violet down the bottom here. Just in some of these shadows. And then back over with that cinnamon. How's that look? Looking pretty good. <laughs> I love hugs. <laughs> Shara, welcome. All right, um, I'm going to add um, white and just make sure I'm happy with the blend using firmer pressure just to make sure the tooth's flat. 
just coming into all of the highlight sections and just making sure I've got a nice blend into those darker areas. Make sure I get nice highlights. Just blending it out towards the darker sections. And you have some nice shading for a side on face. What do you think? A little bit more colour down here, a little bit more of the cinnamon. It's up to your own sort of personal choice too. You might want her slightly darker in the yellow range or in the more brown range or more pink. It's up to you. And she might be paler, more white. Personal preference. She looks good. I'm happy with her. Just doing a little bit of smoothing up here. With the white. And then uh, I think I'm good. I'm happy with that. Back over with the cinnamon a little bit just to add that colour back in a little bit. If you've got areas that are still a little bit, you know, bumpy and you want to make them a little bit smoother, you could use a full blender. I've got the Caran d'Ache full blender, uh, a colourless blender I should say. I've got the Caran d'Ache full blender. And uh, I also have the pencil now too, somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Caran d'Ache have a new pencil blender, uh, which is exactly the same as the full blender, but it's in a pencil form. I just don't know where I put it. I think I was using it yesterday with the patrons, so it's somewhere there. Hi, Tara Lynn, welcome. All right, so uh, if you want, you can then go in and just smooth out the skin a little bit. 
I'm not going to do too much here because I'm going to be redoing it anyway with the splatters on it. But we get the idea. All right, so for the eyes, we're going to use black, <laughs> but we only need a small black. So I'm just going to go in and darken these lashes. Just <laughs> then not do that just in case. Better use a brush. <laughs> oh, cat, you do? Are you on Patreon? I'll send you a message through that. I usually send the message through Patreon. So I'll go check it later, but I'll send you a message later. All right. So there you go. Look at that. And um, I think we'll use a little bit of burnt sienna and black for the eyebrows. Just do burnt sienna first. Just a little flicks of colour into the eyebrow, flicking like we do with hair, adding a little bit of black in there as well. Because I don't know what colour we're doing the hair yet, but we want to actually colour the brow there, just make it slightly... longer. Alright, and uh, lips. And uh, I'll finish, I'm not going to do the hand um, now because obviously I'm going to redo the picture so <laughs> it seems a little bit. Oh, you didn't. Oh, so sorry, Robin. <laughs> Frustrating. Hi, Sherry. Um, so, um, pink carmine, one, two, seven. I'm going to do this in the dark shadows and just line the lips. I'm using firmer pressure just so I get some nice thick colour in there. Which means uh, flattening out the tooth a bit so we don't get that white. So I've kind of shaped them a little bit like a heart there, haven't I? Leaving... a fairly big section there for now. Nose has started again. I'm so sorry, guys. I think I might just finish this lip and lip and head off. <laughs> I've got rose carmine, and I'm going to come out a little bit further, leaving a nice highlight on the lip there. Doesn't matter where you leave it. You could leave it up further here. It's up to you. There we go. It looks really white too now. <laughs> I'm going to use white and just blend that, the white Prismacolor. Blend that out. Just 
just like that. And we can use our white uh, gel pen to add a little bit of a sparkle there. Just a couple of spots on the lip. It looks really white. It's like uh, when I zoomed in, the color changed then. It did. The color changed. <laughs> it's pretty close to the color it is. depth there in the eye but yeah I think I'm gonna head off because my nose has started again and uh, <laughs> it's already done enough damage <laughs> and I don't want to do any more I don't want to gross you out <laughs> just darkening again slightly with the kaput mortem violet make sure you get plenty of depth you want a bit of contrast so if she's looking too pale, it's likely she is too pale. Once we start to add the hair in, she's going to really lighten up. So if you need to add a little bit more depth there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I will go. But thank you so much for watching. And uh, make sure you check out all the details in the description. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for your support and thank you Kat for Super Chat. Thank you Mods for helping with moderating and um, I will see you later. Bye guys.